Hey everybody, here we are at the Chimney Cartel World Headquarters cooking a five-foot alligator that was caught somewhere in Florida. What we're gonna do today first uh, in prepping this alligator, we've already trimmed out some of the fat. There's some fat on the inside in the belly. So we trimmed that out already. We did a little pre-prep. Uh, what we're gonna do is in the tail, because the alligator is so lean, basically nothing but a big muscle, we wanna inject this with some fat. So what we did is we made up a butter recipe uh, just got some butter. We got some seasoning with some Boar's Night Out double garlic butter and Sweet Swine of Mine's apple chipotle. Mix it in with about a pound of butter and you just go through and then inject it just like you would, just like you would a hog. Doesn't matter if any of it kind of spills out because that's just going to be adding to the flavor. And what you want to do is you want to insert it and then as you pull, you want to squeeze. And you go through the tails or tail because there's only one and you want to get it inside the leg there's a nice muscle right in here it's really great to eat on the legs and in the jowls so you want to inject these as well to get some of that flavor in there and you can use any flavoring you want you can use a Cajun seasoning which is really good which we're gonna put on a little later and it's gonna be a nice flavored uh, alligator All right, now that we've injected our alligator, what we're gonna do is put a top coat seasoning on it. We're gonna start with, if it's anything, by Sweet Smoke Q. It gives a nice color to it. And you see I've done part of it already. It makes it like a little red, mahogany look. And it's got a little bit of sugar in it, so it's gonna give it a little bit of a sweet. So what we'll do is, if I can get it open, is we're gonna start up here. And do it, do it kind of liberally and rub it as you go. That way you get a nice, good coat. And don't really rub, rub, kind of pat it in. You rub it, you just end up with a glob of rub in your hand. I know they call it a rub. Don't rub it, pat. It's a little windy today, as you can see, it's just kind of blowing, doing this outside. Uh, there's something about doing an alligator in the house that certain people don't like. All right, now that we've got our top coat on, what we want to do is do the Another, or our bottom coat, we want to do another one with the double garlic butter. Uh, Boar's not out as I spill it all over the place. What this is going to do is going to give it a nice little buttery uh, garlic flavor to it. It's going to soak into the, to the meat. Once we put the bacon layer on top of it, it's going to have a real nice flavor when you bite into it. Now you want to bite in, you want to eat the jaws, the legs, so you want to make sure those are good and coated. And of course the tail. There's not a lot of meat on the side of the alligator, so not as don't need to be as much concerned about that as you would, although you do want to season it a little, because uh, there is a little bit of meat there. And now once we've got that all done, what we want to do is flip it over, do the inside. So I just grab it, flip, easy enough. So we'll get down the inside. You're not going to be able to see it as much. And do the bottom part of it as well. Get your belly done, the bottom part of your tail. Get down on the inside. Because you want your flavor all the way through your meat. Just like you was doing anything. You don't want just one part be one flavor, one part be another flavor. You want it to go all the way through what you're cooking. Gets a little slick. There we go. Continue to pat down on the belly side, the bottom of the alligator, and on the inside. And on the inside, we're eventually going to, as you're going to see in a little bit, we're going to fill this up full of sausage. Again, the sausage is going to help protect it and keep it from uh, getting too done too quick, and it's going to help protect the inside of the meat. All right, now that we've done the rub, got it completely done inside and out to get the flavoring throughout the alligator. We want, to in, we want to put inside to protect the inside and to help keep the cook more even to fill up this cavity. Because you can see it's got a big cavity. So what we're going to do is fill this up full of sausage that we've kind of pre-mixed already. It's got some breakfast sausage, some hot and some mild, and some hickory smoked sausage links that we picked up to give us some sort of uh, filler. Uh, and you can eat this, by the way. A lot of guys put in uh, gumbo mix and stuff inside of it just so that they can have and they mix it up. I've taken smoked sausage from the gator, put it in my biscuits and gravy when I've made gravy. 
So you just take a big old handful of it and you just kind of fill it in, just like this. You want to get it all filled in so that it kind of fills out like a regular gator. And then once you get it all filled out, then it's going to go right on the smoker. All right, so what we've done is we've got the gators, you can see already on what I call the coffin. And we wrap the head and the feet to protect it from the heat and the flames. We're setting it right around 300 degrees to get a hot and, cook, uh, hot and fast cook. And we're going for a 165 internal, just like you would your chicken or any of the other meats that you would cook at home. And so what we're gonna do is shut her down, uh, have us some cold drinks while she cooks. One. All right, so the alligator's got a lot of smoke on it. It's been on there for a few hours, and we've been keeping it right around 300 degrees. Now it's time for the lattice work that we're gonna put over top of the alligator to kind of help hold in some of that moisture, add some extra flavor. So we added some nice thick bacon to it. And it's very easy to do the lattice work. You're just kind of doing a checkerboard pattern, just like you would on, uh, just like you see your lattice that you do your um, roses on. Get all this done. And then on top of all that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna season it with, if it's smoky, if it's smoky sweet, by Sweet Smoke Q. It's a great little seasoning, very sweet, very smoky. It's gonna add a lot of depth to the alligator. So just like with anything, we wanna get it all nice and liberally coated. And then we're gonna add it onto the alligator. All right, as you can see, we've taken the gator off the smoker and it's all taken care of. We got to an internal temperature at the tail of about 165. To get it all done. The bacon that we put across is perfect. You'll be able to taste that. Uh, I got a little piece here and it is amazing with that chipotle apple and the um, smoky sweet spice we put on there. And the gator itself, there's a little piece right there. Amazing. Try gator. Don't get it fried. Get it smoked. See y'all.